Hi everyone, welcome. In this lesson, we are going to look at normalizing our table to create dimensions table. So, let's we'll start with uh, this our financial data. On this financial data, we are going to normalize uh, the balance sheet and then the income statement. So let's start by normalizing this balance sheet. Here, we have our GL, GL header code and GL subheader code. So for this balance sheet GL, so we have this that describes all the header. So let's rename this as uh, balance sheet header header GL. So then we are going to create another dimension that we call balance sheet subheader GL. So to do that, we we'll just uh, right click on the balance sheet table, then we duplicate that table. So we'll go call this balance sheet sub header GL. So to just make it uh, easier, let's put a dimension there, dim dimension. So here, I can also rename this by just clicking it. Put a dim there, dim. So then instead of the name is too long, we can just put balance sheet as BAL, BAL sheet. Balance sheet header. Let's take this GL off. Let's take this GL off. So we call this DIM balance sheet header. We'll call this DIM BAL subheader. So let's even take the sheet off. DIM BAL subheader. We know it's balance sheet. Okay. We can still click on rename here by right clicking and clicking on rename. Let's call this DIM BAL header. Yeah. So on the income, on this subheader now, we now remove. So the lowest granular form here is GL subheader code. And then we check it. This is from 1000 to 6000. While this is for, so 1 to 4000. So this is the lowest granular form. We are just going to click on this, then on the header code, then on this header and subheader and the GL detail. Then we are going to remove other columns. So after this, we are going to right click and remove duplicates. So it gives us everything, the unique thing here is the GL subheader code 1000, 2000. You can see this one here are repeating. Are, are repeating. So this is our denormalized balance sheet subheader, the, the dimension table. So we can go back to our balance sheet. So there are some columns, this, this, we don't need here anymore. Then we can take it off just to make our table smaller. With these codes, we can work with uh, can work with this table. Then let's go to the income statement. Okay, we already have income GL header. Then we are going to do income statement. So GL because we have the GL name here. We have the subheader, and uh, we have the okay. We just have the header code here. No header, then the detail. Okay, so the same thing, we are just going to duplicate this table, duplicate, we call this uh, income statement, so we call this income GL, let's call this uh, income GL, so it's the lowest granular form we are looking for, so the GL code is the lowest granular form, this GL code. The lowest granular form. So we are going to select 
everything that describes this data up to this GL detail. Then we right click and do remove other columns. Move other columns. So after doing this, then we right click, remove duplicates. So here now, the GL code, the GL code is the lowest granular form of this data. So that is good. We can decide to leave. So these, let's come back to the income statement. So we won't require this, this, this anymore. We won't require them anymore. The GL subheader, the GL name, and since we have the GL code here, we can connect them. So our dimensions table are also called the lookup tables. Yeah. So where we get to do our connections. So this is just a way of normalizing our table to create a star schema. So after all this splits into dimension and into fact tables, the next thing is to come to close and apply. So we close and apply, it runs and then come to all the tables come to Power BI. So this is normalizing a table to form a, you can see some connections going all around, but in the next video, I'm going to show you modeling and how we can just effectively and efficiently connect all these. See you in the next lesson.